Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are making cheese wafers. This recipe is from 1984. For our ingredients, we're going to start with two cups of grated cheese. Today we have medium sharp cheddar, two sticks of butter, two cups of Rice Krispies, two cups of plain all-purpose flour, and also whatever seasonings you would like, such as salt, pepper, crushed red pepper, cayenne pepper, anything like that. So first today we are going to add our softened butter to the bowl. Uh, we're also going to add the shredded cheese. I started to mix the mixture and realized that I thought my butter was softened, but it was still pretty cold in the middle. So if this happens to you, all you need to do is make sure that your mixture is in a microwave safe bowl and just microwave the butter and cheese for 10 to 30 seconds, depending on how cold your ingredients are. You don't want everything to be melted. You just want everything to be a little bit creamier so that it mixes really easily. After the cheese and butter mixture has come together, next we're going to add the flour. You're going to stir that in. After that, you're going to finish up with the Rice Krispies and whatever spices you would like to include. For me, I did a combination of a little bit of salt, pepper, small dash of cayenne pepper, and a small dash of paprika. So today I also want to talk about vintage recipes and how sometimes things don't go the way we want. This is for any recipe in general, not necessarily older recipes. It's just you find it a lot more common in older recipes, mostly because of instruction. Sometimes they're not written out as clearly and it just leaves you kind of filling in the gaps of what you think would happen. So with this recipe, I start to bring everything together and you can probably see everything looks a little too dry. Um, I can shape it kind of easily, but it just really wants to fall apart on me. It's very easy, easy to get frustrated in these situations, but what I ended up doing was melting probably about two to three tablespoons of butter and adding that to the mixture and that pretty much brought everything together. Um, some recipes are really easy to modify, especially if you're cooking instead of baking, because as you know, baking is a little bit more of a science. Everything needs to be pretty accurate in the measurements. But in general, just try to look at your recipe and think about what you could add or if you're able to take away to get the result that you know you need. Whenever the mixture is to the consistency that you like, you're going to take a small amount and shape it into a ball. Next, you are going to press down the dough with your hand, flatten it just a little bit before it goes into the oven. The oven is on 350 and it bakes for 10 minutes. These cheese wafers are almost like a cross between a biscuit texture and cookie. They're really delicious and cheesy. I gave some to my family and everyone enjoyed them. But that's it today, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. 
or clicking on it for the first time, sticking around if you did so. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or if there's any recipes you want to see in the future. Thank you so much and have a good one. Bye.